Today we are going to learn how you can take your developed contracts in Remix and verify them on Etherscan and why would you want to verify the source code so the source code is visible on Etherscan and so you can interact with the contract you can read from the contract or write to the contract directly from Etherscan and we are going to do the exact same thing using Hardhat we are going to develop contract using Hardhat and we are going to verify this contract on Etherscan. So we'll learn how to verify contracts both from Remix and from Hardhat. The contract I want to verify is it's a simple number contract that stores in public number variable. You can set its initial value when we deploy the contract in the constructor. We have an uh, update number variable that updates the number to whatever we pass through and a simple increment uh, number function. To deploy click on injected web 3 and we have to pass in something like 20 or whatever number in the constructor and we are ready to deploy. So confirm the transaction. Once the contract is deployed you can see it inside here in the deployed contract section and, and we can view the deployment transaction by clicking view on either scan here. And as you can see this is the deployment transaction so this is the contract we deployed so click here and you can see the contract is not verified so if I click on the contract section you cannot see the source code so how can we verify uh, this contract you can go in here into the plugin section on Remix and search for Etherscan so we need to activate this Etherscan contract verification plugin and it will show up here and this requires us to have an Etherscan API key so we can configure this by and we can get this Etherscan API key if we were to create an account on Etherscan and go once your account is created and you're logged in you need to go into my profile and into the API key section here you can create a new API key make sure to copy the API key go inside the remix go into the this settings section paste in your API key click on save API key so now we have configured the plugin we need to select the contract it's this number we have to get the contract address we can get this uh, from here or from the blockchain explorer so paste the contract address and we can get the hex encoded constructor arguments if we were to go into the deployment transaction click on show more scroll all the way down into this input data and it's always the last I believe 64 characters these are basically the constructor arguments so we can come in here paste them here or you can simply use this tool that uh, generates the, the constructor arguments for you so how this tool works you need to go into the compile section copy the ABI of the contract come in here paste the contract ABI click on parse and we need to input our number 20 in the in this uint 256 and you can see it's basically the same thing so now we are ready to verify so click on verify contract you can see that we get the contract verified correctly so now if we go into our contract on this on this ringby blockchain explorer it may take a few minutes but after a while if we go into the contract you can see we have the, this green check mark and we have our code publicly visible and now we can uh, read from this contract for example we have this number variable that is 20 we can write to the contract we have these two functions we can call so let's update the number to 50 but first we need to connect to web3 with metamask so click on write this is going to prompt us if we want to do this transaction so click on confirm and once the transaction is mined we can go into the contract again into the read read contract section and you can see the number has updated to 50 so now let's do the same thing inside hardhead so i've created a basic hardhead project and inside here i'm going to rename this sample contract to number and i'm just going to paste in the code we, we had in remix so the same contract except here i'm going to increment by three so we so the source code is different also we want to modify our deploy script this is the script we run once we want to deploy the contract i'll rename this to deploy and here we want to deploy our number contract instead of the previous greater contract 
and upon deployment we want to pass in an argument uh, our initial value for our number which is 20 we can keep the names or you can rename them if you want so we have our this deploy script now let's go ahead and configure the ring b testnet for this we will go into the hardhead configuration file and inside this networks object i'm going to add a new network called this ring b and we have to provide the ring b url and uh, one account that we're going to use to deploy our contract or basically the private key of this contract and because this is confidential information we'll use the .env package to hide this the ring b rpc url and our private key and to install this package we're going to say npm install .env dash dash save uh, once that is installed we can require the .env package right here so we can read uh, some variables from our .env file but we haven't created it yet our env file so let's go ahead and right click new file and just say .env and inside here we want to say ring brpc equal to and private key equal to and just add uh, our private key and our ring brpc and once uh, these are configured we can deploy our contract by saying npx hardhead run uh, we want to run the deploy script and on the ring bean test network that we configured here after the command has finished running we can see an output like this this is basically our deploy script it says that the country is deployed to this address so if we were to search this address on either scan we can see that the contract is not verified so let's go back into hardhat and try to verify how can we verify this contract well we can use the hardhead ether scan plugin provided by the nomic labs company and we can install this by saying npm install dash that save dev because this will be a development dependency and just say add sign this means the it this hardhead ether scan it's official it's from the nomic labs library and press enter so once this package is installed we can require it by saying require nomic labs hardhead ether scan and once again we need to go back into our env file and uh, basically set up an etherscan api key just like we did with remix so just uh, say etherscan api and key and paste in your api key here and go back to your hardhead configuration file and under networks what we want to do is uh, add another section another object which is etherscan make sure to add comma in between them and this is where we'll provide our api key so you can just say process.env.etherscan API key. And once all of that is configured, we can verify, finally verify our contract by saying npx hardhat verify. Basically, this is a task that's provided by the hardhat etherscan plugin. Dash dash network ring b because that's uh, the network our contract is deployed to paste in the contract address and provide any constructor arguments for example like 20 you should get an output like this and if we were to go into our contract we can see now it's verified mm -hmm.